from the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Good morning, I'm Danielle Shank with your Morning Pulse for Monday, April 22nd, 2024. The 30 day vetting period for NU's priority candidate for president is officially over. Now what? The Board of Regents says Dr. Jeffrey Gold will participate in a final series of public forums on Wednesday with feedback on his appointment being accepted through Thursday. The board will meet this Friday to possibly vote on approving Dr. Gold for the position. The iconic pink home at the corner of Crestline Drive and Sumner Street, a community landmark for nearly 80 years, is gone. Following the passing of owners Virginia and Paul Porsche, and with family living out of state, the home was put on the market. Realtors say they would have loved to keep the pink hues in the yard, kitchen, and bathroom, but there isn't much demand for blush and bashful. The home has been renovated, but hints of its past still linger throughout. Three Nebraska nonprofits are receiving millions of dollars in gifted funds from billionaire Mackenzie Scott. Bright Horizons, covering 10 counties in northeast Nebraska and Ho-Chunk Community Development in Winnebago, are each getting $2 million. Also, Nebraska Appleseed here in Lincoln is receiving $1 million. Scott gave $640 million to more than 360 nonprofits across the country. Months of fundraising in Grand Island are paying off. A total of $32,000 has been raised, surpassing the initial goal by $7,000. This funding will cover the cost of travel for loved ones to attend fallen GI police officer Christopher Marcello's induction into the National Police Officers Memorial. The remaining funds will honor his legacy. Marcello will also be inducted into the Nebraska State Law Enforcement Memorial in Grand Island. A Southeast Nebraska Volunteer Fire Department is honoring a special member of their history. Since 1974, Terry Petracek has been a member of the Crete Volunteer Fire Department, holding numerous titles. On Sunday, they held a 50-year anniversary open house in his honor. 50 years. 50 years, kind of a, a little jaunt for anybody. Um, but. It's been both good and bad. I've seen the worst, seen the best. Petrochik is the fourth member of the department to reach 50 years. Rounding out your headlines is a check of the seven day forecast. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts.